Hi all. In this video, let's learn about the differences between the types and interfaces in the TypeScript. So this is the most commonly asked interview question as well. So let's get started. So firstly, we need to understand there are two things in TypeScript to define the types. One is types and another one is interface. So fine. So let's understand the types first. So types, in fact, it is called as type aliases. What does this type alias mean? Yep. A name which is given for any type. So for example, number is a type. Number is also a type in the JavaScript. And now you are giving a different name to the existing type. So that's the reason we call this as type aliases. Giving, naming this type a new name, like my name from now, the my number is a number type. Okay, this is a type. So how we do this type aliases? By using the type keyword, we define this type aliases. In fact, if anyone asks you about what is the difference between types and interfaces, it means like they are asking about the difference between the type aliases and interfaces. This is the first thing we need to understand about the type. So now, now you know about the primitive data types which we have in the JavaScript. One is like number, string, boolean, null, and undefined. These are the primitive data types we have in the JavaScript. To define these types, you should be using type. Okay, it not interface. Interface cannot be used to define these primitive types. Okay, so to use the primitive types, to define the primitive types, you need to go with the type. Interfaces cannot be used for these uh, primitive types. They can be used for the object types. They can be defined for the shape of an object. So that is the second, that's the first difference like we can discuss. And the another difference is, this is known as an union type. What does this union type mean? So union type means with the help of this type keyword, it means like you can define the union type. It means any one of this can be the type. Okay, like uh, you, you can say one of the several. So it can be null, it can be undefined. So now you are defining the types or it may be null. Sometimes the response may be null. Sometimes it can be undefined. So it depends upon the output, like it depends upon the response code. So that's the reason. It can be like one of the several types. You can write one more or, and you can define that as a string. So like that, you can define the things. This is known as an union type. This we have, this union types are having for the types, but not for the interfaces. There is no equivalent for the union type in the interfaces. This is the second difference, okay? The third difference, declaration merging. So in the interface, if you see, we have two interfaces like the, with the same name interface user interface user so now what happens the typescript compiler will compile them into a single interface okay it will not throw any error it will compile that into a single interface automatically the typescript compiler does this for us and you can happily use this this interface you will not get any error this is known as a declaration merging this we have for the interfaces but not for the types for example, if you do the same for the types, so I'm using the same, same type puppy, type puppy and different properties, then you'll be getting this duplicate identifier puppy. It will not allow. It means like duplication declaration, like uh, declaration merging is not allowed in the types. Okay, hope you understand this. And it's up to us like uh, when to use this declaration merging. The best use case for this is if you're using the third party library, Okay, say if you are using the third party library, it has some interface and you want to add few more properties to that interface, properties or methods to that, that interface, then that is the right use case to go with this declaration merging. Okay, existing third party library, there will be one, uh, one interface, you will extend that or you will use the same name, you can use the same name and you can do the things. Declaration merging happens for the interfaces, but not for the types. So this is the third difference. And coming to the extents and the intersection. So extents means like, uh, uh, let, let me explain that both interfaces and uh, types will can extend the something. So this is one type, but type, this is one interface. We have defined something like this. So an interface can extend the type. Okay. An interface can extend the interface. So it means interface can Extend the extend means like you are inheriting. Now, what does this interface do? It is extending this bird interface. It means all the properties present in this interface, the properties methods present in this interface will be available to this interface as well. 
So that is what the extent means. Like you are inheriting the properties and the methods that you are doing with the help of the extents for the interface. Okay, interface can extend one or multiple interfaces. And also interface can extend the types as well. It can also extend the type, fine. This is about the extension keyword for interfaces and how the same functionality can be done in the types. The same thing you can do within the types that is with the help of this intersection. So this is an ampersand symbol. So you can like and with the help of this, you can achieve the same like extends, whatever we are doing extends here, the same you can do with this ampersand as well. And now if you want more like uh, in the object oriented programming, then this extends looks better when compared to this intersection. Fine. And one exceptional case we need to discuss while we are uh, understanding the extents and the intersection. So the exceptional case is if you have an union type. So this is a union type, you know, right? So if you define one or the several types, okay, this is known as an universal type, like union type, sorry, union type. And now the exceptional case is interface cannot extend an union type. So that's the reason you are getting this error. An interface can only extend an object type or intersection of object types with statically known members. Okay. As this is not a known member, so it is saying that it can't extend this type. Usually it can extend the types, but it can't extend the union types. That is the exceptional case we need to understand. So this is a fourth difference. And the fifth difference is how they handle the conflicts. So they handle the conflicts in a different way. Like let, let me explain this. So I will uncomment this. So we have two interfaces. One is person and staff is extending this person. It means these properties will be inherited. Properties or methods will be inherited into this interface as well. But if you observe the name, the property name is same in the both the interfaces. If this happens, it means like you will be getting an error. Okay. The property name should be unique. If not, it will throw an error in the interfaces. But the same, if ha it happens to the type, it will handle automatically. So let me show that. So now you have type here and uh, staff, this staff is extending this person. Okay. And see how intersection they are using. It's like extending same intersection and they are using another property and that property is also same having the same property name. So now what happens for the types? So it will not throw any error. So as it is not throwing any error and also you need to use the type safe in returning the values. That's the reason you are using string here as one type and string array as a another type. So when you're returning any value, you, knew, you need to check the type safe in this case, okay? This is for the types. So how they handle the conflicts? Conflicts in sense, when they have the property name same, interface will throw an error, whereas type is happily, it will return the things. But only thing is like, you need to put something like type safe things here, okay? Then when to use what? like. Uh, what is the use case for this? What is the use case for this? If you don't want your properties to be override, then you can go with this. If you're okay to use a function, like a, if you want to do a function overloading, okay, then you can go with this types. So these are the major differences that we have with the types and interfaces. Okay, whatever you can do with the types, you can whatever you can do with the interfaces, the same things you can do with the types and whatever with the types you can do, you can do the same things, but there are some things like a declaration merging can only be done there. And interfaces can only be there with the union type, like types can have only the union type. Interfaces can't use that. So these are the major differences we have. This is a most commonly asked interview question as well. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.